have no idea where we're going, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> okay, so this is just a quick clip to explain um, because the footage you're about to see should have been in the last Dubai video, aka this video, the first video in this three video vlog travel trip series, but it was filmed on my phone because the phone we usually filmed on had died because it was day one and we did so much that day. We got so much footage. We saw so many different things with our tour guide as you would have seen in that first video. Um, so this was actually the end of the first day, but because it was on a different phone, I forgot to transfer it to Robin. So I wanted you to see it because it's really fun and really cool. So here it is. Final stop on our first day here. It has been a long one, but an amazing one. We just had to say goodbye to our guide who just made the world of a difference. He was the nicest man. And he dropped us off at the Miracle Gardens where he told us they have 40 to 45 million flowers and they make all of these sculptures. So it's, it's very fragrant. I can smell all these different flowers. as We walk through different areas and they make these different shapes. So some of them, because the sun is setting, I can actually see some of the outlines if the, they're backlit by the sun, which is kind of fun. The one behind me right now, I can't see because the sun is facing it, but my mom was describing it to me and it's an Air Emirates plane, which I so wish we were able to fly on. We couldn't get an Air Emirates flight, which would have been amazing. I've heard so many cool things about their planes, but they have one of the planes here covered, covered in flowers. This is amazing. It kind of reminds me of the, um, Gaudi Park that we went to in Barcelona, like same overall vibe, but obviously like very different. Um, but it's just, it's so fun. I'm loving it. Here we're seeing some footage of the beautiful flower gardens. There's so many colors and the trees honestly look like a bunch of spider legs hanging, but they're covered in pink blooming flowers and green leaves and it's reds, whites, yellows, pinks. They have some giant penguin shaped plants, which are so cute. There's a body of water surrounded by pink and blue flowers and some beautiful little cottage looking homes covered in more plants. It honestly looks like something you would see in some sort of fantasy film. All the lights are turning on now at the Miracle Garden. And so there's like all of these shapes that are being lit up. Um, I can't really see most of it, of course, but I can see some of the lights, which is fun. Okay. So that was day one, and now the next clips you're gonna see are all back in chronological order where we left off. So in the last video, I did the little taste test. I was sick with a slight cold, uh, took a nap, and then we go to this, which was the final night we had in Dubai. After being lazy and swiping on TikTok, I was about to say Tinder. I was not swiping on Tinder. I was swiping on TikTok, laying in bed, um, my mom was packing up and took a shower. I was being sick. And now we're having a little Cosmo outside before the sun sets. And then we are heading to the Global Village. We are trying to decide between Glow Gardens and Global Village because we just don't have time to do both. But everybody's been raving about Global Village and they keep being like, you have to go, you have to go. So it made the choice for us. Plus the Global Village like has the glowing garden vibes still but so much more. So I'm really excited about that. Don't know what my hair is doing. I don't know my- It really good. Does it? Yeah, it looks I don't great. know my Dyson here with me and I usually use the round brush attachment to do the bangs. So now they're like kind of looking like I'm in grade six again with the side swoop, but I feel like the side swoop is coming back with Taylor Swift. Like she's been doing that a lot. So maybe it's my next move. We have arrived to the Global Village. The sun has just set, which is the perfect time because it's all lit up. I am so excited. I mean, look, when all you can see is light, seeing light is very exciting. So I cannot wait. This is quite literally an entire space devoted to unity and light in the world. My mom and I got in for free. Just a perk of being disabled. So funny, all the time my mom was, you know, sometimes being disabled has perks. And I'm like, yeah, mostly for you, because you're not disabled, but you still get the perks. Like, I actually have to live with the disability. Um, so like less perks, you know? Um, but anyway, so just so you know, if you're disabled, you get in for free and you're plus one. Also, something that's interesting is here in Dubai, and I assume in all of the United Arab Emirates, they say 
person of determination instead of disabled person. Um, and I'd be very curious in the comments. I'd love to have like a healthy discussion, you know? A polite, kind, healthy, constructive conversation around your opinions on that. Um, it's not for me personally. It gives differently abled to me. Um, but everybody has different perspectives. So I'd love to hear what you think of the idea that here they do not say disabled or disability. They say a person of determination. So funny, right? So we've gotten inside and right away I was like, ooh, Big Ben, ooh, uh, like this grocery store. And then she's like, La La Land, what's that? And I'm like, <laughs> mom, that's LA. Like we quite literally live there, it's LA. And she's like, do you think? <laughs> yes, that's what they call LA, La La, La, La Land. That is true, it is La La Land, Statue of Liberty. So there's a, is it called Alibaba? It's called the Alibaba supermarket. Okay. So maybe we could get more authentic snacks here. Okay, so we've come into the grocery store and the first thing my mom sees is Cheetos, Skittles, and then Lay's. So um, mm. apparently not. <laughs> my mom just says, Big Ben, how unique. And I'm like <laughs> thinking in my head, like actually it's the opposite of unique. It is not unique. They've, they've replicated. <laughs> the Big Ben is not unique. Big Ben in London is unique. Big Ben in Dubai, not unique. The opposite. Okay, so I've come into one of the Arabic perfume shops. I am the pickiest person about fragrance. I'm very scent sensitive and I'm so picky. I love perfume. I'm in my fragrance era, as my mom knows, but I'm so ultra hyper picky. Like I know what I like and mostly I don't like anything. So I'm a, I'm the hard to sell to. I like that one. <laughs> Turkish baked potato. No, mom, come on, let's go see what this is. We might have to get some Turkish baked <laughs> potato. The Irish girl in me Wanting can't turn up Turkish a good... Baked oh, I smell it. I oh, smell it the potato. Mm -hmm. There's olives in there's corn. I think it's like Disney. It Turkish the... kofta and grill house. Is this whole appeal? place has the vibe of Disney. Doesn't it? Oh, it's... then there's Thai fruits over there. Ooh. Yeah. It's literally like the whole world is lit up and then there's just like food and monuments and it's such an interesting place to come especially for children like if you can't afford to travel or you haven't had the opportunity to travel a lot i think travel is so important to understand other cultures and unfortunately there's so much discrimination in the world and i think it comes from a lack of understanding and a lack of willingness to try to understand and learn and travel is such a beautiful way to experience other cultures and connect with other people with different beliefs and different thoughts and experiences than you and I think it's really important to keep in mind that you don't have to understand or agree with people to show them respect um, and I was like saddened when I shared that I was coming to this part of the world to see like people sending negative comments about me coming here really? and yes really? it made me really sad oh, because, I don't know that I didn't know that yeah and I think that like I said you don't have to agree or understand other cultures to respect and to not be rude or mean or hateful and travel is so 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 important and I, I urge you like if you can to try to travel in your lifetime to places that you wouldn't usually consider um, because it opens your mind and the world is so beautiful and I just love experiencing other cultures and I I wish more cities in the world had somewhere like the Global Village because like I said not everybody can afford to travel and this is such a lovely way to experience other cultures. Pox chips, what's your name Molly? I don't know where they're from but my mom said she saw Yemen and that just made me think of friends. Ah. <laughs> and this one when is... When Phoebe's boyfriend goes to Yemen. This is Nash. Hot chicken. Molly. I think I'm gonna have Turkish ice cream for dinner, Mom. Okay. Let's keep going though, because then I find something else. Wait, but I want to try Turkish ice cream. Hot dog and fries, Egyptian pie, pizza. Mochi! Yay. I love me some mochi. It's the way they're teaching children about the world. I know, and the kids can go around in these little cars. I wish I had a little car to go around in. Believe it or not, is that Ripley's Believe It or Not? I think it is, it is. It's Ripley's Believe It or oh Not. Oh my god, it's so funny. That is so funny. Look at all these cars. There's like double decker buses and then they're like hippie Volkswagens and it's really fun. It's Paddington Bear, Molly. I want to touch Paddington Bear, right? So now you can touch Paddington Bear. Is he over here? He's here. 
We love me. I miss her too. My vertigo is really bad right now. I feel like I'm walking sideways. Um, so we grabbed a wheelchair. That way we could actually get food. Otherwise, I couldn't keep staying. Um, so we grabbed fries because that was all we could agree on. <laughs> they're called fancy fries and they're actually delicious. They're so fresh. We grabbed a bottle of water because hydration is important. Okay, so we had to get this. This is a par apparently, I don't know, a traditional Arabic dessert that like if you went to somebody's house and they were to make dessert, this is what they would make. That is what the local told us. So it's like condensed milk and like a cookie or something. So I've got to try it. Okay, so Is it like bread pudding? It's got yeah. cookies. Yeah, like yeah. a bread pudding. Yeah, very like bread Probably pudding. Probably with though. eggs and mm. looks like pistachio nuts and almonds, ice cream. Wow. Mm. Let's go close in. Mm. It looks so good. Let's try this. Maybe it's camel ice cream. Camel ice cream, you think? I don't know, but it's very though. Okay, so we were leaving because my vertigo is just like. I'm not having it, you know? But on the way out, we found one of these bike ride things where the, you sit in the cart and the guy bikes you around. And I never get to go on these. And I've always wanted to. I've never been on one because I always have a guy talk with me. And I feel, I mean, maybe he could sit here, but you know, I feel like he'd be like, Whoop. so I never go on one. So I'm gonna go on one before I leave. Honestly, I have no idea where we're going, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> that bike ended up taking us basically from the entrance of Global Village to the taxis, which was ideal because as you saw, I was having really bad vertigo. So it actually worked out perfectly. All right, so that was our final evening and then we basically had most of a day. So I feel like we got so much done in Dubai given we were only there for like three and a half, a little more than three and a half days. Um, so we did Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then Monday, we bought day passes to go to the Atlantis Resort on Palm Jumeirah, which is like a super famous resort. If you're on like social media at all, if, like a year or two ago, I feel like all these influencers got invited to go see the opening of Beyonce singing at the Atlantis Resort. I was not cool enough to get invited, but I wanted to go check it out. So we bought a day pass. And then around two in the afternoon, we took a taxi to Abu Dhabi where the rest of the trip took place. So this is that right now, right here. Here you go. What better way to spend my final day in Dubai than at the spa at the Atlantis Resort? Perfection. And this is the hot tub area. Here we're seeing some B-roll of the beautiful resort. The architecture is just so detailed and tactile and colorful. It's really unique. This first room is earth tones, but it has a lot of stone and just textural designs and tiles on the walls. It's so stunning. There's a little pool of water. And then in another room, the tile is this beautiful like orange brown pattern I don't even know how to describe it and then the walls have a very warm tone to them the ceiling is colorful it has very under the sea vibes to it with corals and blues and oranges and like seashell patterns I could just lay on that floor and look at that ceiling for hours honestly and then there's this beautiful table full of these bright pink flowers of all different shades the pathways are very peaceful. There's palm trees and it's just very green and serene. It's so stunning. Another room in the building has, once again, more of that under the sea vibe. It has these pillars that almost look like the fin of a fish. And then there's this art piece, I believe it is, in the center of the room that's all of these colorful, squiggly pieces of glass formed together around a fountain. It's so pretty, so captivating. I just had the most wonderful massage. Oh 
god, it was like sent from the gods. It was wonderful. And now we are sitting out on the beach, still at the Atlantis Resort. We bought a day pass so we can hang out at the beach, the pool, get some food. I just ordered a gin fizz. You guys know me. When it comes to drinks, I love wine, champagne, and cocktails. And when it comes to cocktails, gin is number one, tequila is number two. So I got a gin fizz, which is always good. It smells so good. Smell that, Mom. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Delightful. Anything with egg whites too, an egg white cocktail, oof, high on my list. Let's try it. Oh yeah, that's good. And now we're waiting on a Wagyu beef burger that we're gonna share. The burger has arrived, it smells spectacular. And I substituted the regular fries for loaded sweet potato fries. And I need to make these at home. Like, mm. Sweet potato with jalapeno is God's gift to the earth. Like, we all need to be eating this. I am genuinely the biggest baby about cold water, so I'm very proud of myself that I got in because this is chilly, but you know what? It's refreshing. Come on in, me. Not right now. <laughs> Before we leave Atlantis and head to Abu Dhabi in our car, I was just standing at this window that goes into the aquarium and it's backlit. Like, I don't know where that light is coming from, but it's kind of backlit. And so if I look like up that direction, I just kind of saw one move and I couldn't see what it looked like, but I could see the shape moving, which was really exciting. <laughs> you know, when you don't see much, seeing anything is very fun. <laughs> what do you see, Mom? It's a big, huge, like, flatfish. I don't know what's name. It could be um, a stingray. Like, he's got, like, a big, long, like, tail at the back, like a spike. Oh my gosh, there's so many beautiful fish here. So, we just left, grabbed our bags back at our hotel. We've packed up, we're in a car, and we're off on an hour and a half to two hour journey, probably two hours because of the time of the day, uh, to our hotel in Abu Dhabi. Tomorrow will be the start of the Forbes 3050 Summit, which is the whole reason I've flown all the way out here. So I'm really excited for the next leg of the journey. Dubai has been fabulous. It's time to see what Abu Dhabi has to offer. Hello and good morning. After my longest, deepest sleep to date, uh, I have woken up feeling great. I'm so excited for my first day of the conference. Look at my pass. Look at it. I've arrived. We're having breakfast. I have a latte, the most delicious mango juice, and a plate full of non-breakfast foods. I always love traveling to other countries because a lot of other countries don't do this like egg, bacon, sausage, pancakes situation, which I don't like. I do not like any of that kind of breakfast foods. This is my type of breakfast. Veggies, noodles, potatoes, rice, like any of that kind of stuff, I'm in. So I'm really excited. <sighs> Liz. We just had breakfast and I changed because I was hot. Um, it's so beautiful out. It's not pure sun, but honestly, thank God, because it would be too much. It is very humid. Um, I only have about half an hour before I'm getting a massage. I know, I'm being a little extra. Two massages in a row yesterday and today, but the tension is tensioning, so I need some support. And I was a spa girly. I gotta see what the spa here has to offer. This resort is so unbelievably beautiful. Like, I need to come back here for a honeymoon. This would be amazing. In fact, speaking of honeymoon, they even have the beach separated. There's like the side for families with kids, and then the side for like adults and couples. The dinner we had last night, I've never had a better chocolate lava cake in my life, and I say that as a person who's, like, that's one of my favorite desserts of all time. Wasn't it incredible, Mom? Fabulous. And the couscous? Too good. Um, but yeah, we're taking a little 30 minutes that we have to just lay on the beach. The sand is so soft under my toesy woesies, like, the softest of sands. So we're just gonna lay here for a bit, then I'm gonna get a massage. Maybe go for a swim, because I quite literally think that's going to be the only opportunity we have to swim. Because this conference is going to be so hectic, so. Okay, so at this resort that I'm staying at, they have Aladdin's cave. And there's like a little lazy river. And obviously it's for children, which I have a large inner child, and it's coming out right now. It doesn't take much to nuzzle it out, you know? So I'm, I'm getting in, and they're all like confused as to why I'm here. And they're like, you're not five. And I'm like, no, I'm 30. And I'm getting in. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> See you at the other end.
Is it warm? Yeah. Ooh, nice. Hello. It's nice. It brings me back to being a kid again. Now I'm being an adult and I'm swimming in the big girl pool, which is much warmer than the one yesterday at Atlantis. So I am thrilled about that. Okay, blind girl life hack. Just figured it out in real time. You know, we're always constantly having to learn to adapt and accommodate for ourselves. So in this pool, like I'm swimming alone and it's really confusing and I keep getting disoriented and lost because it is so massive and it is a really unusual shape and there's like music and birds and people talking and these water fountains flowing into the water. So there's like lots of sound that's making it hard for me to auditorily navigate and like not get lost. And so I kept getting lost. So what I did was strategically place my water bottle right here. So when I swim to an edge, what I then do is just run my hand along the edge until I find the bottle and then I know where I am. Boom, off I go. You guys, the funniest thing happened to me, okay? So I was without my mom for an hour and a half in the room. It's fine, I was just hanging out in the room. I was washing my hair, taking a bath, getting ready for the first Forbes event that I'm going to. It is the Listers meetup. So it's like a little cocktail hour for anybody who is Forbes 30 under 30 or Forbes 50 over 50. So we can all like network and meet each other. So I'm getting ready. My mom's having a massage. She's relaxing because she didn't get one yesterday in Atlantis. So she had one today and she's enjoying herself. I'm pleased for her. She leaves the room. I'm already in the bath, setting up. When she leaves, everything goes pitch black in this room. Pitch black, all the lights gone. The blinds, I can hear them, they're closing. This is a very smart hotel, which we know, blind girl, love technology and equally hate it because if it's not inclusive, it's horrific. It's worse than no technology. So it's all like on sensors. So I guess it sensed that she left the room and it just all turned off. So I'm just, I mean, it's fine. I just did my bath and my lotion up and blah, blah, blah in the pitch black because I, I can't see anyways, it's fine. It's just a bit weird because I usually have lights on. But here's like the panel. You can see it's like a touchscreen panel for all the lights. So once I got out, I like tried, it's just like a flat panel. It has so many buttons and options on it, but I can't see any of them. So the blinds that cover this window here are like touch blinds. So it's super cool actually for like people with upper limb differences, amputees, I don't know, for like reduced mobility. I feel like it would be useful for so many people. You literally just go and touch them and they open. So I knew that. So I was like, okay, well, I'll at least be able to open the blinds. So I touched and opened. And then it sensed me moving. So like two lights turned on like really dim. And then I like just pushed the screen a bit and some lights turned on very dimly. So I had a few lights, but then I was like, oh my God, I'm starving. So I went and sorted snacks. I knew there was snacks in the room somewhere that we brought with us. I was like looking through drawers because my mom had unpacked when I fell asleep. And I found this and I thought, oh great, that's my applesauce. It's not. I ate half a pouch. Prune juice. Prune juice. Prune, no, organic. Prune. Pure, worse, prune. <laughs> like applesauce, but prune sauce. <laughs> and it tasted like prunes. Immediately, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's prunes, but I'm here now. Um, so I ate it, and, and now I'm like a wee bit gassy. So, <laughs> you know, but I'm ready to go. I'm looking fabulous. Neve's back. I survived. I can do it. I'm fine. Um... Anyways, it was just all very funny, very blind girl. Okay, so we got invited to this dinner the first night and it's all like women in entertainment. I don't know if I've actually like said what this conference is. It's the Forbes Women 3050 Summit. So basically it's all women related to Forbes, whether you're 30 under 30 or 50 over 50 or just adjacent to that. So it's for International Women's Day and this was like all women in media, arts and entertainment, meeting for Lebanese food, which is delish, always good. And we've come to like this place that was converted. It used to be a palace and it's now a hotel. Cost $3 billion and it is like alarmingly grand. It's, it's crazy. It's like so ornate. The ceilings are so high. The hallways are so wide. It just feels massive in the most wild way to me. Like I'm like, it's, it's hard tasteful. to comprehend. It's just gorgeous. I mean, I will do a little walk through. Everything that I touched, like went to the bathroom and the like doorknobs and everything. I was like, every single detail is fancy and grand. I feel like it's, it's like, I mean, I was gonna say it's like a castle. Dumb, like that's what a palace is. It's very beautiful. And 
dinner was delicious, but I need to see palm trees. And this is just a tiny, tiny section of it. Oh, this is what we're gonna get tomorrow. That's why I need to go to sleep, you guys. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we're going on a cultural tour of Abu Dhabi. So we're gonna go to like palaces and um, temples and stuff. So it'll be lots of this. Lots yeah, of it's so incredible. <laughs> My mom think keeps ignoring me when I give her directions, <laughs> and I'm right every time. And I'm telling you, you need to listen to blind people when they give you directions, because we know what's up. All right. We're not distracted I'm just by all this. Following beauty. you is always go. Ever since you're you were a child, so, I'm distracted. still following you. <laughs> Look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. Blind people always know where they're going, because we're not distracted by all this beauty that you are need. All right, that was our first official night of the Forbes 3050 Summit in Abu Dhabi and that is where I will leave you for this video and the next video coming next Friday will be the rest of our time in Abu Dhabi at the summit and I can't wait to share it with you it was honestly the experience of a lifetime so amazing so get ready for that next week and until then you can click here to watch part one if you neglected to do so or you can click over here to see that trip where I went to the Gaudi Park in Spain. All right, see you next time. Bye.